Привет, everyone! It's time to learn some VBA, or Visual Basic Applications, the programming language of Excel. So today, specifically, we want to look at how to simulate a normal distribution. And even more specifically, we're going to be simulating the brain! Or not really, <laughs> we're not going to be simulating the brain, but we're going to be simulating uh, IQ. As a point of departure, we'll be assuming that IQ is a normally distributed variable with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. We can simulate pretty much any kind of statistical distribution using a concept known as the universality of the uniform. The universality of the uniform requires two different inputs. It requires a pseudo-random number generator and it requires the uh, quantile function of the desired statistical distribution that we wish to simulate. Let us just provide some quick details about these two inputs before we move over to the spreadsheet. And let's start with the pseudo-random number generator. The pseudo-random number generator is essentially just an algorithm which produces numbers which are uniformly distributed and are bounded between 0 and 1. And these numbers, uh, they behave as if they are random, but in actuality, they are perfectly deterministically determined, hence why we call them pseudo-random. The logic and theory behind the pseudo-random number generator can be quite complicated. Luckily, we don't need to think too much about it, as uh, Excel has two different functions which can implement this for us. One is the worksheet function called RAND, and the other one is the VBA function RND. And the pseudo random number generator in Excel is allegedly, according to Microsoft at least, based on the Wichman Hill algorithm. However, there are people in the academic literature which seems to disagree with this. Taking a step back here, let's talk about the second input that the universality of the uniform requires, namely the quantile function of the desired statistical distribution. We want to simulate IQ, which is normally distributed. When I say normal distribution, most people are thinking about the bell shape, or the PDF, the probability density function. So to get the quantile function, we take the PDF and we integrate it, such that we get the cumulative distribution function, or the CDF. The difference between the PDF and the CDF has to do with the y-axis. In both cases, we have the uh, same x-axis, but in the PDF, the area under the graph is equal to 1. And we integrate it, then the CDF will be ranging from 0 to 1. Probability moved from being uh, under the graph to now being the graph itself. And to move from the CDF to the uh, quantile function, we just take the inverse. The x-axis becomes the y-axis, and the y-axis becomes the x-axis. So in order to simulate the random numbers from a normal distribution, we require the quantile function. Looking at Wikipedia, this whole quantile function business seems quite complicated, if to be true, even for the simplest of cases here, the normal distribution. However, once again, luckily, we don't actually have to deal with this complexity ourselves. Excel has been nice enough to provide us with a quantile function of the normal distribution. So in the worksheet, you just use uh, norm.s.inv. And if you're using uh, VBA, it is basically the same, but slightly different. And the only input that this function requires uh, is the output of the pseudo-random number generator. Now in this video, we are interested in simulating IQ, so we only need the normal distribution. But uh, you can uh, generate random numbers from other statistical distributions too, because Excel provides uh, several different quantile functions. Uh, here's a list of them. It's uh, quite a few of them, um, but it's not everything. They don't have uh, all the type of statistical distributions which you might need. For instance, if you come from the project management uh, discipline, uh, then we quite often use the triangular distribution and we use the PERT distribution. Uh, these are not available, unfortunately, in Excel, uh, so you need to do a little bit more programming there on your own. Uh, but if you're interested in the triangle distribution, then you can go and look at my other video on the topic. That's enough theory, so here we are in the uh, spreadsheet. I've already taken the liberty of uh, writing the code and running the code, just to save some time here. 
So in column A, we have outputted from our subroutine, our visual basic application script, uh, different uh, pseudo random draws from the normal distribution with the uh, appropriate mean and standard deviation. And we have simulated a million of these. And uh, when you're simulating uh, pseudo random numbers, uh, it's very important to verify that they are you know, behaving as they should. You know, we wanted a normal distribution and we wanted to have an average of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. So I have done some summary statistics and descriptive statistics in order to verify this. So I've written a subroutine, or not a subroutine, but a VBA function that is automatically generating this uh, summary statistics table. Uh, as you can see, the realized uh, mean is uh, about 100, and standardization is uh, also around the parameter of 15. And the skewness, very close to uh, zero. Uh, kurtosis, or this is not kurtosis, but excess kurtosis, uh, and this is also very close to zero. In other words, uh, it's very clear from the survey statistics table that the output, our 1 million IQ draws, are indeed uh, coinciding with that of a normal distribution. And in addition here, I have drawn a histogram, uh, which is also based on a VBA function that I have uh, made. So as you can see here, uh, the summary statistics table came from uh, summary statistics. That's not a function in uh, native or vanilla Excel. I'm going to show you the code in a, in a second here. And the histogram is here generated by another uh, VBA function I have written. So in order to open up VBA, you can use the shortcut Alt and F11. And here is the code for the summary statistics table. It's a function. We gave it the name summary statistics. It has an input uh, uh, range just named R. And the output is uh, an, an array. I'm not going to go too much through the details here of uh, this, since it's not the focus of the video. You can look at uh, the other videos if you want to learn more about the uh, summary uh, statistics uh, table function. And similarly uh, for the histogram uh, table. So a function named histogram, and it is calculating the, uh, the histogram. So the main focus of this video is the uh, Monte Carlo simulation, which is generating this IQ. So it is a subroutine, hence we write sub, unlike the two previous uh, modules, which had function. Uh, we named it Monte Carlo IQ, open parentheses and parentheses, nothing interesting going on there. Uh, but the first two lines of code here is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, when I was a student, the professor used to tell me, you shouldn't use Excel to generate more than 10,000 iterations in your Monte Carlo simulation. And the reason being that Excel is not efficient enough in order to do this. Well, I disagree. If you use worksheet functions, then yeah, maybe 10,000 or yeah, 10,000 to 100,000 is what you could feasibly be able to do. But with VBA, you have more options. Uh, so what I've done here is to change the uh, settings of Excel in order to optimize for execution speed. Since we are simulating a million different uh, draws here, Excel wants to output it or update the screen for every single iteration. It goes too fast for us to see, but it slows down the computer tremendously. So what I've done is to temporarily ask it to just uh, don't update the screen for each iteration, update the screen once you've done with all million iterations. And the second one here is to ask Excel to stop updating uh, every single cell. Whenever an edit has been made or a change has been made to any cell in the worksheet, then all other cells will recalculate. So it's kind of like counting from 1 to 10, but uh, going back all the time. So 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. That takes a lot of time. So we are asking it to put it to manual. And then we need to make sure in the end of the script to put it back to its default setting automatic. Now we don't need to set the screen updating back to true because that will automatically happen once the module is done. Because otherwise you could, uh, well, you basically uh, ruined Excel. It's not gonna be, nothing's going to happen on the screen. So they made, this, they made sure that you don't trap yourself that way. So the first thing I do after this uh, is to output a string here in range A1. So that's just the column here. So I'm just outputting IQ. Of course, I could just type this in myself in the worksheet, but hey, you can do it with VBA too. Uh, next, I have some parameters here. 
uh, we could have the parameters on uh, different uh, lines here but uh, just to save space I separated the different uh, well, syntaxes with uh, colon so first we have a variable named n uh, and is set equal to a million that is how many iterations or, or how many IQs you want to generate second one here mu uh, that's just, just gonna be the average value of the uh, normal distribution uh, and the third one here is uh, sigma, which is just the standard deviation of the normal distribution, and that is set equal to 15. Then we get to the actual Monte Carlo simulation, uh, and for that we're using a for loop. So for i equal 1 to n, and n is specified up here as 1 million, we are going to do something, and then to end this for loop we just write next i. So whatever is between uh, for i equals 1 to n and next i, that will be repeated n number of times. So the first thing I do is to make a variable named uniform, and I could actually just call it whatever. I could call it uh, sabaka, for instance, if I wanted. And it's just rnd, which is the uh, VBA uh, version of the pseudo random number generator, which may or may not be the Wishman Hill algorithm. Uh, so this uh, function here, rnd, will generate a number between 0 and 1 with uniform uh, probability. Next thing I do is to make a variable called standard normal. And here I want to put in the, uh, um, the uniform number inside of the quantile function. And the quantile function in the worksheet was norm.s.inv. And in VBA, you just substitute the dots here with underscore, and you make sure to first write application.worksheet function. Application is just Excel, so we're accessing from Excel its worksheet function, and specifically, we are accessing the uh, norm.s.in function. So this is essentially just a quantile function, and the input is the output of the pseudo random number generator, which is up here. So if I wanted to save another line of code here, I could just uh, delete uh, this part and instead just write rnd here. That would work too. So this standard normal will just generate a pseudo random number which follows the standard normal distribution. It has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. That is not exactly what I want. What I want is to have a normal distribution with a mean of 100, standard deviation of 15. So you probably remember this from your introductionary basic statistics courses. You can normalize a variable, get the z variable, by taking the x variable minus its mean divided by its standard deviation. Well, I'm going to do exactly the opposite. I'm going to take the z variable, which we just generated, I'm going to multiply it with uh, the standard deviation or the desired standard deviation and then I'm going to add the uh, desired mean. And once I've done that, I will get uh, my uh, simulation of the uh, one, one simulated IQ and I just have to output that in the worksheet. So range a2.cells i1 for the first iteration that will be, well, it will be uh, cell a, uh, a2 when i is equal to 2, that will be 1 below a2, so that will actually be a3, and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to run this script here, because a uh, million iterations is still going to take me you know, 30 seconds probably with my computer. Uh, probably twice uh, as long uh, since I'm running this uh, screen recording program. But as you can see, the output is just right here. So that is how you can uh, simulate uh, a normal distribution in Excel using Visual Basic for application. And as I said, uh, maybe you want to use an other distribution than the normal one, and you can do that by just substituting the quantile function from the normal distribution uh, with an other distribution. Uh, for instance, you could use the beta uh, distribution if you're more into uh, project management, and um, if uh, you don't have the desired control function, uh, then you need to kind of write that one yourself. So as long as you stick to the uh, most common type of statistical distribution, then it's quite easy to do this uh, in Excel. So I hope you found this uh, useful. I hope you learned something. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, so see you guys around. And if you like this, then uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications or something. See you guys around. Bye.